Hello everyone, welcome back to Cynical Reacts. I'm your dude, Cynical. Have you ever wanted to get some work done? Perhaps a little bit of cosmetic enhancement? There are many different plastic surgery enhancements that you can get, and you can also get fillers injected into your cheeks. As with any other procedure though, it can be completely overdone and get to levels that are completely ridiculous. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some clips of and learning a little bit more about Anastasia Pokrashok, the woman with the world's biggest cheeks. I look the way I do because I like this. Some people think that all- oh, Handsome Squidward. Oh, it's just for hype. I'm doing just for me. Oh, that's what you looked like before, huh? Here's what you look like now. Here's before. Um... Okay, were the fillers an improvement? Uh... Just for me. I want to wake up, go to the mirror and say, Oh, Nasty, you are so beautiful today. I love, I love what I see. Uh-huh. There. Hi, everybody. My name is Nastya, and I have the biggest cheeks in the world. <laughs> I look the way I do because I like this. This is the only one reason. I like the way that I look. This is the only one reason. Nobody's going to tell me that my cheeks are too big. I will kick your ass. Sorry. <laughs> Dimitri, bring me horse and whip. Sorry, I started to get a little Icelandic there at the end. My name is Swissgar. Some people think that, oh, it's just for hype. No, I will never put something in, in my face what I didn't like, you know? Uh-huh. Um... Okay, so I normally wouldn't make fun of somebody's physical appearance unless it's something like this. It's like a surgery or something that you did to yourself, like those BBLs or this or whatever. I'm going to say that she might have gone a little nutty with the lip fillers as well. Looked like she got slapped in the face. <laughs> Anastasia, go tell Dimitri bring horse to stable. Ugh. When I was twin Yeah, that's what you used to look like and you're like, you know what? Let's grow a couple tumors on my face where my cheeks used to be. That would really spruce up this face. You know what I mean? This six years old. I understand that I. Dude, what are you doing? You looked fine. You looked good. I look uh, that I'm not very pretty. Yes. So I. Wait. What? Hold on. We have to hear the origin story of this delusion. Oh my gosh. When I was 26 years old, I understand that I look. Uh, that I'm not very pretty, yes? When you were 26, you understood that you were not very pretty yet. So I decided to make my lips because... Uh, I so you got the lip thing. I haven't lips at all. It was like like this. It was ugly, so... Um, no, man. I mean, if that's your before on the left or right there, you had normal human lips. Um, humans don't usually come with lips like what you currently have, so... I don't know if I would go for like inhuman looking procedures personally. That's one thing I don't get. People will be like, my lips were too thin. It's like, oh, those look like human lips. Now they're all like. Now you look like a fish, like at all times. I would say personally, for me, if you're going to get any sort of cosmetic procedure, get something subtle that looks somewhat natural. If you're going to get a butt implant, don't get a butt implant that's like freaking this damn big. Besides looking weird, you're going to attract very bizarre people. Very strange people are into inhuman physiques. When you get a freak physique, you'll attract some freaks. B -b 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 bars did it. I think I actually did it right that time, huh? <laughs> the person that keeps trying to correct me about that will be happy. <laughs> I'm not very pretty, yes? So I decided to make my lip. That was crazy to begin with. Um because uh, I haven't lips at all. It was like like this, it was ugly. So I started uh, making my lips from 26 years old. One year ago, I started making make such cheeks. Now One year ago, you started make such cheeks. Okay, well, they've really grown in a short time. Now I think I have to refresh already. I think that they're a little bit small. <laughs> what? What look are you going for? You think that it's too big, but... We got the puckered fish look again. For me, it's a little bit small now. My aim is like when I wake up, I go into the mirror, yes. And I want to see the picture I like. And this is what you like. This kind of reminds me of Synthol Boy. Or whatever the hell his name is. 
that Russian kid who gets the synthol injections to make his arms all huge, but they look terrible. And he also has started getting injections right here in his cheeks. They call them bazooka arms or some crap like that. I never count how many procedures I have in my face. I never count because it's a lot. You can see that this is lots of, yes? It sleeps. It's uh, cheeks. Mm -hmm. It's uh, my Botox here. Ah, okay. Classic. You want to have that glass skin for some reason. Human beings don't have that, but we all want that for some reason. Some time ago. Dude, I've made this joke before, but I don't think Botox could even handle this, dog. <laughs> the doctor goes to inject it. It's just like, Tch. It won't go in, sir. There's too many wrinkles. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got. Yeah, I know I've made that joke before. Oh, I have fillers here. Mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you said lips, cheeks, Botox, and then fillers here. I thought the cheeks were fillers. I don't know anything about this crap. So are those like silicone implants in there? Fillers here. Mm. Ah, and. I thought the cheeks were fillers. What are those, bro? Golf balls. They implanted a couple golf balls in your face there. I went ahead and got the Titleist procedure, you know. I make, uh, this is, I made myself, this, jaw angles. What? You did some sort of procedure to your own jaw right there? What did you do? I can see it right here. Here's the before and then after you have a little angle. Oh my gosh. This chick is really caught up on weird facial angles and stuff. I don't know why we're trying to make our face sharp in various ways. She wants like sharp edges at her cheeks. She wants a sharp indentation here. She wants a sharp jawline right there. Like what the hell? Call me old fashioned, but I'm just gonna get big boobs. You know what I mean? Like, or a big butt. I'm not messing with this baby. Jaw angles and my chin. I never count how much I spent on my face. I never count, but I know that it's a lot. Maybe it's maybe around $2,000 in my cheeks. And maybe $2,000 in your cheeks alone? Damn, dude. I'm in the wrong line of work. I need to be a plastic surgeon. I don't really know what I'm doing, but apparently that doesn't matter. <laughs> be uh, something similar in lips, but I never count. I... That's insane to not know how much money or how many procedures you've had on your face, like on one specific body part. Shoot, I don't even know how many lip injections I've had, like 20, 30, 50? <laughs> Who knows? What? You haven't been keeping track? Don't care about this. And now we're going to the clinic. I will make some fillers to my friends. You're gonna put fillers in your friends now. We had watched filler. Of course it can happen, but I'm not scared. It can be dangerous, even with qualified beautician. What? Well, Anastasia is a self-sufficient person. She's an adult and is responsible for her own actions. Is that why you keep injecting her repeatedly, Katia? Even if they are an adult, they might not be in the right mind, Katia. Um, you know what I mean? So maybe we shouldn't just keep injecting them. I don't have anything against her dot 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 look. When she feels she doesn't like it anymore, she can just remove it. There are enzymes that dissolve all of these medicines. Medicines. So it's not critical and not that scary. Okay, well, where are your giant cheeks then? What the heck? I'm not going to somebody that doesn't look like me to get a procedure. I need to know that you're about this life, all right? <laughs> Here's Alexei, Anastasia's friend. Nobody judge me from my friends. How, how my friends can judge me? I will say it, okay. If they will. <laughs> oh no. Are you letting her inject him? She goes here so often that they're gonna let her do the injections on her friend. Oh my gosh. Today my friend asked me to take off Dude. the filler which which is in the wrong place. Please. Take out the filler that's in the wrong place. Okay, this is getting interesting. So I did it. 
whose office are you in? This is somebody's cosmetology or doctor's office or something. Yeah, go nuts, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, just seeing somebody get injected in the lips or the forehead or whatever. Oh my God. You're just like, oh no. You know, and they see like a little kneel. Here, let me just go ahead. No, get the hell away from me with that. Well, I like what she's done to herself. And you want a similar look, huh? Okay, all right. The cheekbones, they look cool. Oh my god, look at his lips. You could slap him in the lips and all the silicone and crap would just start leaking out. Ah, my lips! My lips are deflated! Oh my gosh. You know, at the beginning when I'd look at her cheekbones, I'd be like, wow, shocked. <laughs> and now I even think they're too small. Okay, so she has given you her body dysmorphia. She should have more injections. Okay, so those are some kind of injection. That's what I thought. I didn't think it was some kind of implant, right? <laughs> In Instagram, I'm funny, you know? I'm not like... What the heck? <laughs> Look how it showed her operating her phone, dude. She literally just started mashing all this shit on the screen like... She... <laughs> Let's watch that again. I go to check Instagram. In Instagram, I'm... Fun, you know? I'm not like this but don't like always she had makeup and then hello, I'm so cute. No. <laughs> I'm just talking about life. Like I'm in my life, I'm such an Instagram, yes? And that's why uh people loves me. That's why people loves me. There are a lot of interesting comments on Instagram. Have very good audience. There are some haters, yes, not without that, but uh, I'm, I don't give a Okay. Well, when you do something like this and make yourself really stand out, you do get a lot of followers on Instagram and stuff. Some of them are there to support you. Some of them are there to call you a freak and whatnot. In a way, it's sad because people are taking pictures with her to laugh at her, and she's like, everybody thinks I'm a celebrity. Like, I think it's everyone's own choice, Dasha says. And I absolutely don't judge her. Okay, so you weren't taking a picture with her to laugh at her. You actually are a fan, okay. I support her. Because that's the way she's expressing herself. And her personality. So I have nothing against her look. Lots of what I want to add, okay? I want veneers. You want veneers. Well, you don't need veneers. Just wear this cool uh, mouth thingy that displays your mouth nice. <laughs> Just walk around wearing this. This is the new look, baby. I want this Hollywood smile, yes? Because I don't love my teeth. Okay. I will make uh, another shape of lips. I will keep my cheeks big. Okay. Well, clearly you can't go back. Once you've had cheeks this big, you can't go back to a normal life, baby. You've had a taste of stardom. There's no going back to being a regular pleb like the rest of us. Because I love it. And also, I want to put implant in my chin. No. Implants in your chin? You're not going to get the butt chin, are you? Please don't. You know when somebody's got like a little indentation here? If you naturally have that, whatever, but please don't go get that implanted. I don't think that this is like addiction because I I made what I want on my face. It seems like an addiction because it keeps getting bigger and bigger and it's never enough. But of course, I don't want to live without fillers or Botox because I don't love wrinkles. I don't love lips like this, you know? Um, you don't? Are you attracted to other people that have lips like that and cheeks like that yourself or? So maybe this is the kind of addiction, maybe. Maybe it's some kind of addiction. <laughs> Clearly it's some kind of addiction. What are you talking about? For all my procedures, I'm doing just for me. I want to wake up, go to the mirror and say, oh, Nasta, you are so beautiful today. I, li I love what I see there. For me, I think... Uh, For me? Uh, yes, I'm more attractive. Because I like myself like this. 
Okay, so do you think this person has an addiction to plastic surgery? I would say so, but like I said, I don't know if those are some kind of implants or injections. Clearly this person likely has some form of body dysmorphia. Getting more and more cosmetic procedures is not going to make this person happy or whole. Her problem is within. So altering all of this physical stuff is not going to fix that. It's not going to help that. A lot of people are caught up in this. They're confused. You have issues within, emotional issues. Your solution is to alter your appearance. These two things are not related. I think you should go within and see why you are so insecure and you feel the need to alter your appearance in such a drastic way. Now we're gonna be taking a look at a clip of somebody speculating about this person's body dysmorphia. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that cheek reveal right there, dude. That is shocking. Because she looks normal right here, right? And then when the hair pulls back. Oh my gosh. And I'm not trying to be mean, but dude, it is shocking. Oh my god, this angle. Really looking like Bazooka Arms Kid from this angle, dude. I'll have to make a video on that kid next. Jesus, help us. Oh my gosh, you can really see from these angles, man. Dude, right here, this looks like you have an infection. Right there, look how swollen and red that is. The skin is so taut. The skin is not meant to stretch that far. Looks like you got stung by bees. This is a clear example of body dysmorphic disorder. I think you might be on to something. So this condition affects one to three percent of the population. It's a, it's a flawed perception of your body or flaws. You become hyper obsessed over it. You can talk about it and refer you to the right person. There's treatment options like cognitive behavioral therapy or a combination of CBT with an SSRI. Okay, and we wrap it up by taking a look at a clip of somebody saying that this person has body dysmorphia and it can be treated through cognitive behavioral therapy and perhaps also an SSRI. So that was completely insane. I would say it's a slippery slope when we start getting various procedures done to our face. And since we can get used to looking at it, I say that we should ask for outside perspectives. I would say if you've had one or two procedures done to your face and you don't like the way that it looks, you should ask one of your friends like, hey, did this improve my face? Is this making it worse? Should I keep going? Maybe consult a few of your friends, you know, get a little census going. <laughs> We'll start a poll. Should Cynical have more procedures done? Yes or no? And then just hand that out among your friend group. Let's put it to a vote. I think it's funny when people get all these bizarre procedures done to themselves, but I also think it's sad. It's really sad that this person just keeps altering their face and they're probably not going to stop. And I hope this person gets the help that they need, not in the form of more cosmetic procedures, but probably through therapy. So what do you think of the clips that we just saw? Are you ready to go get 12 different injections into your face? Leave a comment below. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Alright, bye!